trying to talk about this to wake them up, they're still not awake. Do you, you feel it? I don't think they like these analogies. Do you like them, Yelsey? You're going to give the ring back? <laughs> well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you guys some time. Well, I'll do this first. Let's work on a few more of these examples and have you finish them, OK? So that you don't start to go, wait a minute, I can't do the rest. You can do this. If you know order of operation, you can do this if you bought those calculators I asked you to get. Because um, it makes, this is sort of, it's sort of just a matter of you punching the right numbers in and, and, and hitting the right button. So here, the value of x is what? Zero. What's the value of x here? The value of x here. The value of x here. What's x here? Greater than or equal to 1. What's x here? Less than 4. What's x here? And what's the, no, what does no more than 2 mean? x is not greater than what? 2. What does it mean to be not greater than 2? x is less than or equal to, good, to 2. Yes, nice. Nice, OK? So let's look at these problems here. We already did the first one. Let's look at the second one. The second one is, remember, I would say this to you. Every single time you use the binomial formula, write this thing down. Write it down, OK? Because what you're doing is you're training yourself to memorize that formula. Don't just look back at the book and try to use it. That's, that, you'll, you'll lose something. So now here, the value of x is what? What's x? 1, 1, 1, 1. What is n? n. 5, good. What is p? 1 half. So p of 1 is 5c1. 1. 1 half to the what? 1. 1 minus 1 half to the, what's 5 minus 1? 4. See what happens. P of 1 is 5C1. 1 half to the 1. What's 1 minus 1 half? 1 half to the 4th. Now, this is something interesting is happening here. What's happening here with those two exponentials? 1 half to the what power? Same base, different powers. What do you do with the powers? Nope. You add them. 1 plus 4 is 5. So ladies and gentlemen, P of 1 is going to be 5C1, 1 half to the fifth power. What's 5C1 anyway? Is that 5? 5 times 1 half to the fifth power. Did you guys know the prior problem? I deduce that 1 half to the fifth power was 1 over 32. So the probability of having one girl is 5 over 32 as a fraction. And what is that as a decimal? It's 5 times that decimal value we got over here, p of 0. What is that going to be? 0 0.03125 times 5. What is it? 0 0.15625. 0 0.15625. 3. The value of x is what here? OK, write down your binomial formula, because you're going to use it. What's x here now for having two girls? What's the value of x? 2? 2. 2. 2. 2. What's n? 5. What's p? 1 half. So here we go. 
P of 2 is 5C2, 1 half to the what? Second power. What's 1 minus 1 half? 1 half to the, what's 5 minus 2? 3. What's happening here again? Same base, different powers. Same base, different powers. What is that? What, do you, what is it? 5. Do you guys know what 5C2 is? What's 5C2? Is that 10? So this is 10 times 1 half to the fifth power, or simply 10 over 32 as a fraction. As a decimal, it's 10 times this point, uh, where is it at? 0, 3, 2, 5. Over there. It just moves the decimal one place to the right. 0.3125. So this is the probability that you have two girls the probability you have one girl. So here's what I'm going to say to you now. You guys are going to finish the rest. And I'm going to add a bonus question nine. Determine the expected number of girls. Determine the expected value. I'll give you some time to do that. OK, we'll give you a little time. Do it because uh, it's designed to help you. Yeah, what's your question? Um, is three always going to be one-half? Yes. In the setting of having children, why? Because the probability of having a girl, which we said was a success, for one child, for one child is what? Is one-half. What if the success was having a boy? What's P then? What would P be if you had a boy? What's that success? See that? What's that going to be? That's also what? One half. So be careful. In the setting of having children, the answer is yes, P is one half. OK? And it doesn't matter whether it's a boy or a girl, P is one half. Isn't that nice and easy? Which, what's the hard part? You know what the hard part is? What's the hard part here? Knowing order of operation? OK. Well, how do you even get around that if you had to? You see some of your calculators? Some of these calculators, you can enter everything in here, and it kicks out your answer. OK? And that's really what you have to get used to doing. Question? At least one. If 